guns, and respect was a product of fear. The protagonists were frequently those who defied laws, rebelled against established norms, and indulged in criminal activities. Consequently, they became inspiring figures for the youth who saw a reflection of their own struggles in these characters. These films became a manual, a roadmap directing youths through their harsh realities. The influence was so profound that it gave rise to a gang culture, leading to the emergence of groups like the Crips, Bloods, Thirteen, and Nortenos. Regrettably, these films fell short in highlighting the catastrophic path these lifestyles often led to. The violence, crime, and defiance came with a hefty price, often exacted lives. This harsh reality was either sidelined or romanticized in these films, resulting in a generation of youth ill-equipped to face the repercussions of their actions. The ripple effect of these films transcended mere entertainment. They sculpted perspectives, influenced conduct, and left an indelible mark that continues to reverberate today. While films were iconic in their narrative and significant in their impact, they inadvertently ignited a ticking time bomb of self-destruction. These films, while iconic, unknowingly lit the fuse of a time bomb that was self-destruction. One such tale that mirrors this cinematic influence is that of Lloyd Avery. This story is far from an ordinary Hollywood success narrative. It veers towards the tragic, highlighting the lethal enticement of self-destruction. Born into a comfortable life, Avery was nurtured in a stable home, blessed with affection, safety, and opportunities. His potential was evident, a young man with aspirations. Yet even the most hopeful starts can lead disastrous conclusions. Avery wasn't just another face in the crowd, he was an upcoming actor shining brightly in Hollywood. With roles in celebrated films like Boys in the Hood and Poetic Justice, his talent was undeniable and future looked promising. He was poised to capitalize on his acting prowess and build a career, but as his star was rising his personal life was descending into a whirlpool of self-destruction. Despite his background and opportunities, Avery was lured by the siren call of street life, a life mirroring the menacing narratives enacted on screen. His transformation from a promising actor to a criminal was a slow descent, he began associating with the wrong crowd, engaging in activities far removed from Hollywood's glitz. He was arrested multiple times, and his encounters with the law became commonplace. His life began reflecting the characters he portrayed on screen, a grim reality far from the scripted world of film. Eventually Avery's life took a tragic turn. He was found guilty and sentenced for a double homicide. The actor who once graced the silver screen was now trapped within a prison cell's cold, harsh confines. He was no longer playing a role. He was living the tragic tale of self-destruction. In 2005, Avery's story reached a premature conclusion. Found dead in his cell, his life ended at 34. A promising star had faded too early. His life a harsh reminder of the shattering consequences of self-destruction. Lloyd Avery, a promising star, dimmed too soon. His life a cautionary tale of self-destruction. His story stands as a warning, a tragic illustration of how the most promising lives can be derailed by poor decisions and self-destructive behavior. It's a touching reminder that life often imitates art, sometimes with dire consequences.